Good evening all. Welcome once again to Learn News. Today's topic of discussion is Asynchronous Messaging with ActiveMQ. Well, our model of de design today is somehow like this. There would be a message producer, there would be a JMS provider which would be hosting a queue and there would be a consumer. Producer would create a payload or message and that post it into the one end of the queue and the other end of the queue would be listened to by the message consumer. In our Spring Boot tutorial, we have utilized Spring Boot along with ActiveMQ and we have implemented synchronous messaging. But here it's not a it's a, not a Spring Boot application, rather a standalone a simple Java application with the help of JMX, JMS. And uh, here we what we are going to do is we are going to just simply post uh, those messages to the directly uh, to the one of the end of the queue with the help of ActiveMQ which is our provider and our application would be receiving that one and consuming and displaying that. So let's quickly go to the application. This is the project structure. It's a Gradle project and here as you can see in the, the detailed code base here this is the AMQ message application which has this main method and within that main method AMQ listener application this listener will start with listening. It will start to listen and in this listen method is implemented over here in this AMQ listener app where we are creating at first a connection factory CF with the default ActiveMQ URL which is the local host with port 8161. Now we are creating a connection with the help of this connection factory then we are creating a session. After session creation we are creating a queue then we are creating a message consumer. Please ignore this. After the message consumer is created, we are utilized, we are setting a asynchronous message listener for our consumer. Where is our listener? Our listener is this. Our listener is do what? Will do nothing. It will listen to the queue and will wait for the message. Whatever message being posted, it will simply see and it will, re it will be receiving that and will be jotting out down into the console. So this is the simple application. So let's start our ActiveMQ. It will take a couple of minutes, not even a couple of minutes rather. Yeah, our active MQ is up. Let's reload this page. <clears throat> This is our queue that has been created previously and also in this example learn use queue and which is currently having zero consumer and also zero in messages being enqueued or dequeued and no pending messages. Let's start our application. couple of minutes yeah the application has started and it is waiting for any sort of messages that have been posted so I will just minimize this window and in the send to I will be sending some message over here say hi no news see here consumer receive this high learn use message so currently again uh, let's post another message and also you can see here the number of consumer is one after the application is put to, uh, to up and our active state one message has been enqueued and another has been dequeued the same message has been dequeued let's go on with the another example some random texts consumer has received this so likewise you can develop a chatbot using this one or a chat system using this one by activating the both the ends by activating two consumer and two producers bidirectionally in one of the queues and in this way you can further device out more uh, applications more 
uh, utilization of this resources this type of resources that is java has provided wonderfully so hope you like it once again just like my other tutorials and other videos and hope you like learn news we need more lots of likes and subscribe subscriptions forget more to get in order to get more motive and more uh, notifications just subscribe the bell icon and subscribe like my channel thank you good night